Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to test again the Let's Encrypt renewal process without opening any kind of ports, um, you know, incoming, uh, which is normally required with the port 80 or 443. So what I'm doing, why am I doing this again? It's because I had a Synology community user who um, wanted to have, you know, some improvements in the renewal process, like for example, it when it renews automatically, it opens the, uh, it could open, for example, the ports on the router or in the Synology, uh, the required ports for the renewal automatically. And when it's, you know, it does not need to, it would close them automatically after the renewal process. So I answered him, well, you don't need to open those ports anymore because you don't need to. I showed it in my video number six uh, with um, let's uh, with, with let's and my video on let's encrypt renewal process. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Actually, I said that I was um, I was able to do this video only once and not twice. But unfortunately, the first time something wrong happened uh, with the packet capture. So I'm going to do it another time. So you will see that I need to renew. A certificate that have just you know renewed just now so now what is important um, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, first of all the the model and DSM version I have for this test okay so as you can see in terms of uh, security configuration I'm using those firewall rules that you're going to see and I do not have a port 80 or 443 allowed in coming not only it is blocked in the Synology firewall, but it's also blocked on blocked on my router and my Sophos UTM device, which you know I'm whitelisting everything that is going in and out from the uh, NAS. We will see so a packet, a Wireshark packet capture, and we will see also like last time the firewall logs of the um, UTM device, uh, the, um, how do you say, the web requests that were done uh, with the NAS and also the applications that are used by the NAS. This does not work always. So anyway, now, and we will have the uh, packet capture also. So let me check uh, before I do that, I need to prepare the capture. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let me check what do I have that I don't forget anything. Okay, so no, that's okay. Let's go. Okay, so now it's listening. Now let's quickly go back to the uh, certificate. Okay, let's renew uh, the certificate. Oh. It says, as usual, uh, please open the port 80 and 443 and everything has to be correctly set up. Okay, I know. Now, I'm going to do it. Um, so, what I want to, to, to tell you, I've got um, in the certificate, I have one domain name and 10 other domains in the subject alternative names. And of course, the one that is in the domain field is not in the subject alternative, uh, or maybe is it? I don't remember. Anyway, I have 11 domains and we will see if it works. Okay, so now it's processing. Please wait. Okay, I wait. Uh, what are we going to see here? Okay, so we see, we are seeing a lot of, uh, oula, sorry guys, a lot of DNS requests those are going to my UTM device, okay? Then I have, every time I renew, I have a lot of um, NetBIOS traffic, okay? So probably it worked. Let me check. Okay, restarting web server. So that means that it works. Um, now, what do we have else? We have the, um, here is the, the web traffic that we have seen. Okay, when I clicked on the renewal button, it's uh, ECMI2 API.letsencrypt.org. Okay, it's doing this web request. Okay, 
so that's clear we also had um a request you know to check the ip but this is usually not related let me check mm, i'm not really sure if it's related the timing is quite close so maybe it's doing a um a verification of the IP address with with uh, Synology. Uh, okay, so that's one thing. Okay, uh, and now we have the application. Well, it doesn't say anything special about it actually, so there are no usable information here. And I forgot to cut the traffic. Okay, and that's a lot of packets. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to open the Wireshark capture. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open it. Okay, I'm going to close everything here. Restarting web server. Okay, so I need to make a refresh. And now let's see the uh, the result of it. Okay, so my, that's a lot of packets. <laughs> Let us see if uh, I don't even remember uh, DNS. What do we have for DNS requests? Okay, so we see that we have made some DNS requests to letsencrypt.org. Okay, letsencrypt.org. Okay, guys, this we are seeing a lot of letsencrypt.org. I'm not a Wireshark uh, specialist, you know, when I need to find something, I take my time and I find it, but for this and the purpose of this video of course i cannot take all that time for you guys so let us see in for example why do we have so many requests i do not remember seeing all that the first time i do not remember seeing that many uh, requests okay There is, I don't understand actually why there are so many for the same thing. Uh, maybe some of you guys know better. Uh, let, let, you know what? Let's first see the first uh, packet. What do we have? Okay, now we're just querying who is, uh, who Who are you? Okay, API. Actually, there's nothing. I don't understand why, why so many requests. What are the answers? What are the answers? Okay, so I'm going to do for the beginning. Okay, just just bear with me, guys. I was not able to prepare this video for you because uh, I'm limited to the number of times I can uh, make this because they will uh, block the renewal process if I do it too much. Actually, I, I, I'm not seeing... Um, I'm really not seeing anything, you know, a lot of queries, okay, a lot of answers, uh, I'm not seeing, okay, I thought that probably uh, we should have some other information maybe about my system, but uh, it's not in this DNS, it's not in this DNS uh, request, okay, maybe I'm missing something, you know, so uh, if you have some ideas, you can write in the comments and I will uh, check. I will keep this file for some time uh, if we need to make some additional research on it, okay. Okay, so anyway, I'm not going to parse all the uh, thing because it's really not showing anything special. Um, okay, so what do we have? Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm sorry guys, it's in French, usually I put everything in English, no, I don't know. Let's see if we have the uh, conversations, okay, just to see who is talking with who. So IPv6, we should have nothing, okay, TCP, we have a lot of things, this is the SSH port, 6690143, we don't care, and we have a lot of 443 protocol okay so this we are going to check i think this is worth checking because it's the only thing this is the re the port for the dsm interface ds cloud uh i think this is imap i don't remember now and the ssh port in udp we have okay we have this dns we have netbios we don't care and we have ntp we don't care either 
and IPv4, I'm only, I'm talking to multiple people. Okay. We know that we are talking with this one, but who are the others? Uh, who are the others? Let me check just to make a quick, um, a quick one. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is probably the NTP server. Uh, what does it say? The 192.33.214.47. Not this is not resolvable. Okay. We have the subnet and we have uh, the router. No, not the subnet. Sorry, this is my computer. For one, the router, enfin, the, the UATM device, sorry, and the NAS. Okay, so, okay, so we have a lot of 443 port. Okay, uh, sorry guys, if I'm going up and down, I'm just, you know, uh, trying to, ah, okay, it's also NTP. Okay, so we're only, we are only talking, we are only talking with the, um, with this host in HTTPS. I think that this is where we are going to uh, oh, to find some information. Uh, I'm not sure that if I put SSL, uh, just let me check. Okay, now I'm going to do something else and say, uh, what is this address? Okay. Okay, so just let me check, sorry guys. Uh, this okay so this should be the address that we are always talking to I'm also some data here but I think that this is um, in which case should I have this what is the port okay 6690 okay so we don't care okay so let's check okay okay guys uh, so we have the scene, Synac, Ack, oops, the, oh, I don't like this. Okay, so we have the client hello, uh, server hello, okay, certificate. So uh, let's see what do we have. Okay, so I'm talking with the acme.api.org. So this what is what we have seen in the web filter log of the UTM, okay? So this is correct. We are going to talk with um, this server. Okay, so where, okay, this is a hack. Hack, clicking, change, okay, I don't care. Um, where we will have some data? I don't even know if we're going to see everything. Okay, so we have encrypted application data, okay. Um, I guessed that, okay, so this might be a mistake for my part. Um, I thought I could take the easy, uh, the easy way, but nope, I'm not able to decrypt the data like this. Um, that's what I was worried. When I, I thought about doing this uh, Wireshark capture, uh, unfortunately, um, I, uh, I thought that I would have been able to see the traffic, the encrypted traffic on the device. Uh, but I know that usually it's not working. I don't know that why this time I decided to, you know, to do it this way. Uh, well, that's really stupid. Anyway, so we won't have anything um, interesting here. Unfortunately, um, let me check how could we do it because... Um, I would need to uh, to do a. This might be complicated um, to intercept the traffic and being able to read it. Uh, I could do this with my UTM device, um, but I'm not sure that this will work correctly. Um, I'm going to see. Okay, guys, so just to probably to finish this video, what is important here is that we have seen that in my case, at least, I don't need to um, open the traffic on port 80 and 443. Uh, and I don't know why. Something has definitely changed. I don't understand why for this person, for example, it's not working. Okay. 
but um, I'm just checking if it would be if I would be able to do something uh, something spe something special but I, I I think that it will not work okay guys just bear with me I'm not sure that this will work okay so in terms of HTTPS for the device I am not um, I am not decrypting the traffic uh, I'm not decrypting the traffic but if I would decrypt the traffic would I really be able to see if I intercept I have a, I have some doubts now I really really have some doubts okay you know what guys I'm I'm not going to take more of your time in this video for this packet capture um, I might try without the um, without this info without the decrypting I'm going to uh, I mean I'm going to try now without the video to do the packet capture because after this I need to transfer it from my system and this might be uh, take more time um, if I have some results I will put them in the comment anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and that it would have been of some help to you and as soon as I have more information about that you know in a technical perspective I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.